So from a functional medicine perspective, I think we need to, to look at things a little differently. Rather than stopping something that's happening at us, we need to figure out what is the body doing for us? So when we look at acute pain, acute pain is a protective mechanism that makes you aware of impending danger or makes you aware of an injury. Acute swelling is a natural cast. It's a brace around the joint. It swells up so you can't move it. And it also allows us to keep up with the tribe so that we're not left behind for dead. These are some of the mechanisms that we were given. So initiation of inflammation is a good thing in acute swelling. However, in chronic pain and swelling, there's no therapeutic biological function for chronic swelling and inflammation. It's no longer a symptom of a disease process. It actually becomes the disease itself. Chronic swelling and pain occurs when the inflammatory process burdens the immune system and the immune system can no longer handle that burden over time. So from a, a functional medicine perspective, again, Rheumatic diseases are inflammatory conditions, taxing the immune system. When it taxes the immune system, it uses specific nutrients stored in our body. I call those nutrient reserves. And those nutrient reserves are required to keep the immune system going. And over time, this becomes a self-perpetuating cycle of inflammation, depleting the nutrient reserves, taxing the immune system, creating more inflammation. And that's where we get the autoimmunities from. 